What's up, dog? Go! There you go! That's it, man! Camp season is officially upon us. To start things off, we are at Mizzou, the University of Missouri. Walking through the NFL hallway right now. We got camp starting at one, going to five. We're working our position specific stuff today. One-on-one -on -one drills, all the things you love about summer camp season. I came in here to find a special name, to me at least. One, Atia Ellison. Defensive tackle, drafted to Carolina, now works as the director of player development. A lot of very famous, very prolific names made it out of this school. And who knows, maybe I'll be one of them. But that starts with making a good showing at this camp. So we're headed to the indoor facility to go check in. Yes, sir. You see it. What's up, dog? How you doing, bro? Yo, we have officially made it down. We are in the indoor facility. I got my sheet. I got my jersey. It's time to make that switch. Also, pro tip: when you at these camps, get your jersey a size smaller so you can't get held. Cause I'm not getting held in this. So now we're going to measurables. For those that might not know, the overhead squat is a flexibility test. But look at my quads. I definitely feel like I left something to be desired on testing, but it'll make sense. I gotta go see the doctor today anyway, so depending on what my MRI says, that may or may not be justified. Regardless, it doesn't feel good when your best numbers are on what's on the screen. But we're transitioning now, we're about to hit these position specific drills. I don't know how I'll get a video of those, but I'll try. But so far, I feel like I could do better. And I'll, I got more camps this summer to do so. That's part one of Andy's finish. We're about to head to uh, we got a quick little break. I don't think I got very much of that recorded, but it is what it is. We started by crafting the perfect pass rush stance. Our feet were a little bit more narrow than on a run play, and we had to be ready to come off the ball almost like a sprinter stance. Then we started developing the perfect pass rush track. Before you even work hands, you have to know where you're going. So now we're at the moment we've all been waiting for, the big event, one-on-one -on -one pass rush. There's only one move I could do first, because I talked to Trajan Jeffcoat, I talked to Darius Robinson, I talked to Travion Ford, they all told me the same thing. In high school, jump chop, jump chop, jump chop. So I took it to the lab this winter, I've been working on it, I've been crafting it. So, without further ado, jump chop by Tyson Ellison. There you go! You really don't have to change much once you get the technique down. I'll link a video to me at the Six Star Camp this winter doing the exact same move, and it literally looks the exact same. But for round number two, I had to take what the offensive line was giving me. In this threat, he set outside. I couldn't use finesse because he beat me to the edge. So you take the inside leverage away from him. He basically gave us a lane to the quarterback. In this rep, I put myself in a bad position and had to battle. The mistake I made was anticipating a set that the blocker was not giving me. I expected him to lunge at me and I was going to try to shoot the hands. So then when he took his first step back, I went with the stab. But clearly there's a size advantage to the offensive line on this. And that's why I just had to go to a counter and then the spin didn't work either. And, um, you know, a good back and forth. But since that last rep, I had the idea of a stab. It was pretty awesome that the next time I had the perfect opportunity to use it how it's supposed to be used. Hands up! You got it? Oh, yeah, there you go. Yeah. 
<laughs> the lineman set super far back, so I just took him where he wanted to go, and once again, that opened up the inside lane. So, as you can see, things went according to plan at competition, at least. Um, yeah, I love getting out and getting these one-on-one -on -one reps. It gives me, one, content, two, a chance to show the skills that I really want to showcase. So where, where measurables weren't exactly where I wanted them to be at because of this whole back situation, uh, I think we made the most of it. And, um, go with the uh, Coach from gave me this information, said we're gonna stay in touch, we're gonna try and meet up at a camp sometime. So that's just another thing to add to my little list. But yeah, Mizzou camp overall, I think it was a success, man. I, I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish, and the things that I'm not so comfortable about, I'll be back on the 9th to improve those numbers, and I'll be back at other camps around. That's all, until next time. It's camp season, baby.